Welcome back, and we have a new company, and this is their first design. This is the new Breed EDC Clydesdale. Something different, something unique, and I like that. Take a look at this blade. You have a very broad, modified Warncliffe blade. That's what they're calling it. And everything is kind of intentional on the knife. Uh, and the designer has taken in suggestions from a lot of people and they've made a lot of changes, all for the better. And we were gonna, we're gonna just look at it through what I see and then we'll go over the changes afterwards because I don't want that to kind of skew how I see things. So you have this big, nice, almost like a cleaver shaped blade. The prototype has a flat grind on it and he's gonna be putting a hollow grind on it which is excellent. I would consider this a medium size EDC knife at 7.625 overall length. And you have a 3.3 inch Warncliffe blade of a 14C 28 in blade steel. Outstanding, love it. The OEM to this is Kubi Knives. And as I'm recording this video, the pre-order is still open and the pre-order price is $115. I think that is outstanding. You have a blade hole for opening. You have a somewhat of a sharpening chaw. Hopefully they open that up a little bit more to give you a little bit more sharpening life. Uh, you do have some fine cut jimping there that does offer some traction. Uh, however, I would have liked to see it extended out more if you want it to be functional because you're going to overshoot that jimping. Uh, we'll have to see if that's something that they plan on changing. Uh, you can see these little scallops right here and this little scallop right there. It's not just for aesthetic purposes. It's for an indexing point that is nice and comfortable, gives you very, uh, gives you a lot of control over that tip. And if you want it to come even closer, you can really control that uh, tip for precision cutting a lot better. With this flat grind, you have a pretty nice, fine, precise point right there for doing those precision cutting. With a hollow grind, it's gonna be even nice and finer, so uh, you should be able to get some really scalpel-like drag uh, cuts with this knife. Now, being this is a prototype, I don't even know if this is the actual steel that it's gonna be in. We're gonna do some testing on it, but I just wanna see how it slices and how it feels while doing so. Like I said earlier, this is just a prototype. I don't even know if this is the actual steel on this prototype that it will be in, but it is slicing very, very nice. You got a very powerful straight edge and it's gonna be excellent at doing in hand cutting like this. So far the handle feels good. You know, this is light duty stuff anyway, but uh, very, very impressed with how slicey it is. And to know that they're gonna be putting a hollow grind on here, it should be even more slicey. That's pretty darn exciting, but so far, excellent job. Because of the straight edge on this knife and the two indexing points they have on the front part of the spine, it is very easy to do nice and controlled cutting, nice and precise cutting like you see here um, with a good sharp edge. You got a nice thin tip up there to do drag cuts and it really, really excels at that kind of stuff like I said get really fine precise stuff just playing around with it here and uh, yeah I, I can only imagine with the hollow grind that that tips gonna be even thinner and now we're gonna test the ergos on this piece of birch and I'm really just kind of getting a feel for that handle putting a lot of pressure into it you can get a bit of you'll be able to get a lot of power behind this cut because you have a hefty handle it's contoured scales you have that straight edge so you can have total power all the way to that tip and it's really really biting into this wood nice and comfortable no hot spots to speak of the the clip stays out of the way of your palm and it feels really nice now i just raised it up on the block because of the straight edge and because of the extra heft on that blade it makes it going through this very easy and you know i don't even know how sharp it is up there in the front i'm sure it's not the sharpest because i'm not the first person to get this but it did it with uh, minimal effort, <clears throat> like I said, and it has a lot to do with that heftier blade. Now, once again, I'm using that index uh, point. You see where my index finger is, and it's nice and comfortable. I can control, I can control that edge where I want that tip to go, and it makes it enjoyable to do that type of stuff. I raised it up on the block just to do this stuff, just to see how it felt passing through this type of material. It did good. Um, I think it'll it'll do better with the hollow grind, uh, depending on how deep they go with the hollow grind. 
Um, and here I just wanted to just see how it, how it uh, wanted to pass through this type of material. It did fine and I was uh, definitely happy with the way it performed. All right, I hope you enjoyed that little cutting demo. Let's check out the deployment and the action of this knife. You have this long blade hole right here that's going to make it easy to reverse flick it. It's very snappy. I love that detent. Nice and crisp. You can thumb flick it. You can slow roll it. You can even do the spotty drop to it. And as you can see, the tang of the knife sits up a little bit above the actual top of the scales. They have some jimping there. It's fine cut jimping and it's got a well tuned detent so it's nice and snappy. Uh, my, my preferred method is the reverse flick or the thumb flick for this one. It's riding on ceramic ball bearings and it's got a very, very guillotine like action. Very nicely done. Now let's take a look at the handle scale area. The, you have titanium scales that are nice and contoured. No, no sharp spots where you don't, don't want them to be. So it was very, very comfortable in hand. There's no crazy choils or anything. It's a nice organic flow to it. Felt good. Filled out the hand nice. You had some nice thickness to it. You're going to have black titanium hardware. T8 torques throughout. Excellent job. You have reversible deep, I mean, a reversible mill titanium pocket clip that functions nicely. Uh, it's not deep carry, but it sits fairly deep in the pocket because of that big chunk of steel and all the titanium. And this is a steel liner lock. The weight on this is going to be a little bit heavier than you would at, than you would normally think for this size knife. It's coming in at 4.7 ounces, so not bad at all. I thought it would be a lot heavier, but it's it, it's it lets you know you have something in your hand something substantial they did everything they could to reduce weight you only have a stainless inset locking liner on the lock side on the show side scale you got heavy skeletonization they did a great job there you have a titanium backspacer that's black along with the uh, pocket clip now let's check out that lock up it's sitting at around, I'd say, 40 or 50% or so. Excellent access to that lock bar because of this cutout. Nice and comfortable, nice and easy to get to. Very, very solid lockup. Love seeing that. Size comparison with the Ontario Rat Model 1 and 2. Next, we have the Concept Model 6. Excellent size reference and the QSP Penguin. Next, we have the Devo Mash and the Tempest Knives Pinion. The, the Devo Knife is a very good size reference. Now, we, before we see the changes, I'll go through my nitpicks and complaints. I would love to see the sharpening choil extended up some so you have more sharpening life right here. If you're going to put the jimping, fine cut jimping, add it to about right there if you want it to be functional because you're going to overshoot it. Uh, maybe add some jimping on this uh, front spot right here and maybe right here to give you a little bit of added traction for doing those drag cuts. Uh, also, a filler tab would have been great. I, I don't like seeing um, just open spots like that. And other than that, <coughs> uh, I like everything else. Uh, very good action, excellent detent. Uh, I like the blade shape. It's very comfortable in hand. And I think the price is definitely, definitely right. So let's check out some of the changes. <coughs> it says uh, jimping will wrap around over the top of the front flipper. So, <coughs> okay, he'll wrap jimping around there so you don't have a slippery spot if you want to put your finger on top. That's good. Slightly stronger detent. Ooh. Um, okay. I think detent's perfect, but okay. <coughs> uh, pull back the plunge grind if possible or increase the size of the sharpening tool. Okay, excellent. That's exactly what I was talking about. You can go up some. That would give you more sharpening life or pull the plunge grind back some. So awesome. You might add jimping to the choke cup. At the choke up, sweet. So you might add some jimping to this. Awesome. <clears throat> uh, chamfer lock bar at access near the lockup. So, huh? I guess right here, maybe. I don't know. Or maybe, maybe I don't know. But you know, can't that can't hurt? Increase the size of the stop pin. So let's see what does that stop pin look like. Yeah, okay. No, it wouldn't hurt. That's not going to hurt anything. As for a hollow grind, okay, yep, this is a flat grind. And <clears throat> he's going to ask for a belt satin. 
I thought this was their belt satin. Uh, I much prefer this satin over the first Devo that they had. Uh, this satin looks pretty nice. Um, I prefer a stone wash, but, you know, this doesn't look bad at all. So overall, my final thoughts, <clears throat> if you're looking for something different, something unique, uh, I think this is a great one. Uh, the action's awesome. It slices great. 14 season awesome steel. You're getting some premium materials at a more affordable price. So yeah, I will link it down in the description. If you're interested in one of these, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them down below. I hope everybody's having an absolute amazing day. I will see y'all on the next one. Bye. Hey, 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 hey.